so much great talent on the move pending their signings. Front Office Insider Bobby Marks here to tell us all how it could happen. Woj just gave us the latest on James Harden and how that could potentially work on paper. But let's see how it could potentially work on the computer, starting with L.A. Yeah, I mean, the Clippers certainly have the assets when you look at expiring contracts mm -hmm. here with, um, you know, certainly with Marcus Morris and Robert Covington, sure. Nick Batum. So when you add those players up, if this is what, you know, if the Clippers are just looking to get off, you know, money and take back this Harden contract here, and then we add in, if they only have a 2028 and 2030 first round pick, that's not as enticing here. So when we look at it there, I don't know if that does anything from mm. the Sixers' perspective. Basically, three players on expiring contracts and a first-round pick here. They also have Norman Powell. It's not going to be Paul George or, or Kawhi Leonard here. So if you're the Sixers, what else is best out there when you're trying to flip James Harden? For the, for the Clippers, on a one-year rental, 35 next offseason, this contract right here, the numbers flip tomorrow. So this is what we have right now. Tomorrow goes to 35.6. But he's 35 next offseason. You're only going to have him likely for one year, not extension eligible. Okay, and he, if that were to happen out there in L.A., I mean, just think of the possibilities, of course, with Kawhi um, and the rest there. But let's stay here on the East Coast because, of course, James Harden has had so many fantastic point guards. Is Jalen Brunson uh, going to be next as you sort of work through the numbers with the Knicks? Yeah, the Knicks is interesting. So last night I'm like brainstorming what would look good for New York, and I had a hard time, and it's, it might cost them a little bit, and I don't think Knicks fans are going to be happy with what I'm about to do right now. Uh -oh. But when you look at certainly James Harden, that number is going to be 35.6 starting tomorrow. you got to get the numbers to match, okay? So we're going to put Evan Fournier in there. He's yep. got an expiring contract. I'm not going to touch Jalen Brunson or Julius Randle right now or Josh Hart. Isaiah Hartenstein and Emmanuel quickly. Ooh. And that is the risk New York would have to go through for a player on a one-year deal compared to another player on a one-year deal, mm -hmm. but is going to be a restricted free agent next offseason and is extension eligible right now. And when you look at, you know, certainly New York has the draft assets here to add in here. I don't know if, if I'm New York, I'm adding more picks, but certainly maybe a, a Detroit pick here. And when you look at it, it certainly works, but here's the big thing. That is a, that's a huge yes. risk for James Harden on a one-year deal. This and this just look kind of weird right now as we sort of visualize it. That is Bobby Mark. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.